Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video and today we got a Kmart Collector's Day unboxing special for you. This case was provided to me from my good friend, Crazy Todd, uh, who I mentioned several times on this channel. Uh, here is the case code. Um, I believe these are, I want to say these are F cases, judging by that. Um, they should have some first to market cars in them and of course some exclusive to Kmart cars. So there's the case code, Nine, well it's GBG77 is the assortment, it contains 36 pieces, 999 AFB. I think they all start with 999 and then they have these three letters could possibly be different depending on what assortment's actually inside of here. And typically um, these or this letter, I'm not really sure this one, but uh, normally this kind of code if it's got that same three letters it's going to have a very similar assortment not necessarily the exact same thing but very similar so there's the code again there i believe these are f cases with the chance of uh well with some uh first to market cars as well some kmart exclusive i'm gonna go ahead this one does have the mattel seal on it so it is double tape but so someone at mattel opened this box resealed it and then put this piece of blue tape over the top so it was checked by Mattel Quality Control, which is interesting. So we'll see if uh, Todd is lucky and we get a super treasure hunt in here. The super treasure, I believe, would be the uh, uh, the Mazda Riku. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and cut the box open if you want to see that action. Let's do that. Let me lift up the box here. And I'm going to go ahead and slice through that seal. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to pull the cars out, you know, kind of three by three. Um, I'm not going to peek at it. I'm just going to pull them out. So actually, I'm going to take this case off. and I'm going to put the case in my lap here. And we're going to just kind of pull them out three by three. And I'm going to try not to, like, peek ahead. So <clears throat> we get an idea here what's going on. All right, so starting out with the first three cars. And we get these two right here and this one. So this one right here, the Hot Wheels Rapid Responder. That is just a basic mainline car. Let's look at the back of this. So yes, F case, uh, Rapid Responder, basic uh, kind of fantasy casting kind of deal as a plastic body metal base. Uh, these right here are Kmart K-Day exclusives. This is the 16 Camaro SS in this Borla uh, livery. So this is a Kmart exclusive color, and you get two of them in the case, which is typical for Kmart cases that you get two of each of the uh, Kmart exclusive cars. So that's your Kmart exclusive. Uh, then the next three, we got first that one right here, the I Believe, which I believe, and yes it is, a new casting for 2019. Uh, pretty wacky alien looking fantasy casting kind of neat and then you get this sweet car this is the Nissan 300 ZX twin turbo very nice car uh, this is a carryover from the last case not the last K-Day case but the last basic case uh, skull shaker just kind of like a bone shaker except I believe that this guy like rocks back and forth when you roll it it's another fantasy model and next three we got we got the Dark Knight Batmobile so there's that one uh, we get the Porsche 917 LH which is another carryover from a previous case and same with the Land Rover Series 3 pickup very cool cars uh, I, I really do like that Porsche casting it's very cool of course I collect Porsches so of course I'm gonna like that and both of them are pretty cool uh, licensed models and let's see here what we got next ah this one's sweet the Pagani Huayra in a Brembo livery looks pretty nice and red that is I believe new to the case I don't know what our first to market cars are so I apologize I didn't really look that up then we got the Skyline 2000 GTR in this cool police livery which is Basically the same livery as it came out and are very similar anyways. The livery it came out in, in Japan Historics, the first Japan Historic series in car culture. So here it is in a basic. Uh, looks very nice. And I think this one is new to F-Case. 
And then this is the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. Uh, this, I believe, is a Kmart exclusive color, so we should see one more of these in the case as we go along here. But here is this one right here. Looks all right. And let's see here, carrying on. Yep, here's another Trail Boss. And hang on. So we got this custom 53 Cadillac. That is a carryover from a previous case. We got the 32 Ford, which I believe also is a carryover from a previous case. And then again, another 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. Another Kmart exclusive color. So <clears throat> there's one car in particular, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Kmart exclusive color that of course people are going to be excited about. <clears throat> and we'll get to that in a moment, but you probably already know what it is. Uh, this is the Bone Shaker. red the eruption which i'm guessing i don't know if this is a new model no this is not a new model wacky model i'm guessing the wings spread open on that one and then the bog zilla goofy right on type of car so those are some goofy well besides the bone shaker some goofy fantasy castings <clears throat> some of you may dig some of you may not uh, the Ford Escort RS 1600 and this very good looking Gumball 3000 uh, like racing livery. I think it looks pretty awesome like this. I do like this release. I think it's very cool. Um, and then we got the SRT Viper GTSR looking nice in blue. Uh, it's kind of a cool casting, but it does have that frown in the front, which makes it track ready. They did it on purpose so that it would be usable for the track. I think that was something they did in 2015. And then this is the Tesla Roadster with Starman. Very cool. Shout out to Elon Musk. And next three, we got two more K-Day cars here coming up. This is the Heavy Hitcher. This is not a K-Day exclusive. This is a tow truck that is a new casting for 2019. Looks like it has got some uh, play value. Asada to towing, that's cool, for Ryu Asada. It's a designer for Hot Wheels. And then we got this 71 Mustang funny car in duplicate. And this is a Kmart exclusive color in this very wild looking orange and green. Kind of a cool casting, although there is no more metal base on this one. So it's not like a funny car. The body does not lift up to reveal the engine underneath any longer because it is now a plastic base and dual riveted car. Uh, still kind of cool. <coughs> All right, moving on. Looks like we're gonna hit, there is a Mazda Repu in here. I can't tell if it's the Super or not at this angle, but we are gonna see it. It's the gonna be the last car we're gonna look at because of the way that I opened this case. Uh, Volkswagen SP2, 2018 Ford Mustang GT, and the Volkswagen Golf MK2. All three of these cars are carryovers from previous cases. And as are these, I believe, the Volkswagen Golf GTI. This might be new to the F case, I'm not sure. Um, which is interesting because G cases are already hitting target. So, again, Kmart just happens to be a little late on their first-to-market cars, I think. So I'm not sure what was supposed to be first-to-market. This is the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32. This is also a carryover from another case, previous case. Uh, that Momo looks pretty good, like that in yellow and black. It's a very bright looking yellow. <clears throat> All right, next three. Here we go. Here's what a lot of people get the case for the 71 Datsun 510 in this K Day exclusive Momo livery. Looks pretty good in the black one. Of course, the mainline release of this car is red. It will be interesting to see if we get another recolor of this throughout the year. Maybe in that crazy yellow that that Volkswagen Golf is in, uh, which would actually look pretty cool. <clears throat> but here it is. These are the two cars that a lot of people want cases for. Is they got to have this 510 in this variation. Just have to have it. And I do want one as well. And here is the, 19, or the 17 Jeep Wrangler. 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 Uh, Jeep Wrangler in this silver color. I'm not sure if this was seen in a previous case or not, uh, but it does look nice in that in that silver color. And then the last three. Yeah, I'll show you these two first. The Corella DeVille 
first came out last year, was a super last year, and now came out again this year. There it is. And then the 15 Land Rover Defender Double Cab. I like those wheels, those look great. Uh, all in all, the casting looks pretty cool. And it, the, it's a pretty, very cool kind of camo uh, color. It looks pretty awesome. And lastly, the Mazda Repu. And not a super, regular. So this would have been the super treasure hunt. Oh, and I don't know what was a regular treasure hunt. So if I did pass that up and I did not see it, I apologize. Please let me know in the comments down below if there was a regular treasure hunt in this box. I don't think there was, but I didn't notice it anyway. And here is the Mazda Ripu in a very cool looking color. And it very much looks close to the super color. It's just more of a metal flake than it is transparent, and that's what's really going to set it apart besides the wheels being, of course, uh, rubber tires on the Super Treasure Hunt and, of course, a TH logo somewhere in the graphic. And I think it might also have added graphics up on the hood, too. I don't know. But it looks pretty cool. So that's going to be it for Kmart Collector's Day. Kind of a goofy K-Day because, the, well, I guess the goofiest thing about it is that they decided to put it... They pushed it back. I think it was supposed to be originally a different date. And then, of course, they pushed it back, which is not uncommon, unfortunately. Uh, and then when they pushed it back, they moved it to a day that the Hot Wheels convention is on, which I think is kind of silly for them to do. But there's not much that Hot Wheels does marketing-wise um, every once in a while that makes a lot of sense or distribution-wise that makes a lot of sense. I understand they got a battle with, you know, whatever thing's going to come out, they're going to come out, or, you know, production delay, who knows. But, <clears throat> kind of goofy that they would put it on a convention day. So, obviously, I will not be going to a Kmart collector event. I do still have a Kmart that is somewhat near me, at least not that far away. It's about a 35-minute drive-ish like that, 35, 40 minutes away. So, I could go to a Kmart, but I'm not going to because I'll be at the convention that day. So... All right, so again, if you're at the convention, I'll see you there. If not, uh, hopefully, if you go to K-Day, hopefully you get lucky and score a Super Treasure Hunt Mazda Repu. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.